I'm Lo and welcome to The Blueprint. Tonight I am finishing up my review of the Nuance line by Salma Hayek. I wore the shadow and I was happy with its staying power but um, still the pigmentation is what is bothering me about this right now. Otherwise I can't really complain about the shadows too much. To learn how to recreate the look that I'm wearing now, stay tuned for the blueprint. Before I get started, I just want to talk about this lip gloss by the same line. This is pomegranate number 128. I have it on my lips right now. I put it on this morning around 8 o'clock and this thing did not budge until it was time for lunch around after 1 o'clock this afternoon and I had to take a piece of tissue, physically take a piece of, t piece of tissue and wipe it off my lips. This product and I'm so surprised because it's a gloss it has great staying power I was also asked a question and I want to say her name is um, butterfly wings she asked me if it was sticky and no it's not sticky as a matter of fact right here uh, on the description it says silky smooth formula and it's true to what it says it is silky smooth it's not sticky anything I, I love it I really do now the caveat to that is it's flavored when I first put it on and you know you squeeze your lips together like that my tongue got on the inside when when I'm doing that so I picked up this this sweet flavor on it and it doesn't taste bad but I don't like flavored anything that's going on my lips on my face whatever I don't like it simply because it tastes good and I know there's some people out there that just can't help putting their tongue on their lip because it tastes so good and I'm one of those people <laughs> and I, I, so anyway I do highly recommend this product try it out it, it's it's great and one more thing before we get started uh, most of the brushes that I'm going to be using today are from confidential I bought these brushes or the brush roll at the iMats in Soho this year. This is the brush roll that they give you and I have some of the brushes in my hand. And I'll be going over each one of these brushes in a later video. So what I'm noticing about these eyeshadows from the Nuance line is that they work best with a nude or skin toned primer. I tried the white primer, I tried pearlescent primer, the primers that dry clear like Urban Decay primer potion and they just in my opinion they didn't look good with those primers. So finally after trial and error I went to NYX concealer in tan and this is a nude tone concealer. I know it's not a primer but it's that nude tone that I wanted and the shadows just sat perfectly on it and I really liked the way they looked. So I'm going to go with this. I've already primed my eye with this and then in my as my highlight I use the concealer in Nutmeg. The first color I'm going to use is this one. This is Champagne Gold. Any flat shader brush will do. And you're going to apply this color from the inner corner of the eye and stop about halfway. Now we're going to jump into the smoky quad and I want to use this green color here. This one is called pearl teal. And so we're applying this color to the outside corner of the eye that we left empty. I'm going to go back into pearl teal but this time I'm using the edge of my brush, just the tip of it. And I want to drag this along the crease of my eye use a blender brush this is the one from confidential and blend out the harsh edges of the color we just applied back into the neutral quad I'm now going to use shimmering bronze and unfortunately the confidential brush rule that I have doesn't have a brush like MAC number 217 so I'm going to deviate from my confidential brushes and use this brush here to apply this to the outer corner and about a third of the way into my crease. Now we're going to hop back into the smoky quad and I'm using this color here. 
This is called Warm Smoke. And I'm using this confidential brush. It's almost like a concealer brush. We're going to load up that purple color on one side of the brush. And I'm going to drag this along the inner corner of my eye. This is a very small shader brush by Confidential. And I'm using that with L'Oreal Lush Raven. It's just a matte black color. And I'm going to place this right on the very edge of my eye and then just drag it in. And we can go back with the blender brush and blend all the colors together. I'm done with the eyeshadow, so now I'm just going to clean up the outer corner and even out the skin tone under my eye. This is Matte Concealer Studio Finish in NW50. And I am going to use a 224 by MAC. And finally, we're going to jump back to the blender brush or the confidential blender brush simply because I'm going back to the eyeshadow. I forgot to just blend up the color, make sure that it's blending in with the um, highlight, whatever highlight you chose. For my lower lash and waterline, I'm going to use Urban Decay in Rockstar. And that's a purple, a purpley plum color. To set the Rockstar, I'm using MAC Shadow in Shadowy Lady. And I have an angled liner from Confidential. And I'm just going to tap it right on top of the Rockstar. And the lashes I'm using are by Monda Studio. I'll put the link in the information box below. I had to actually go online and search for these. I bought them during the eye mats, but they just come with this container with no writing on it whatsoever. So um, it's by Monda Studio and they have great, the reason why I love these lashes is because they look so real and I bought three different pairs of them. This is number 307. So I'm finished with the color for the eyes and I want to apply the blush but I wanted a golden glow for um, on my cheeks. So instead of using traditional blush, blush I'm going to go with the baked bronzer by Palladio in um, Caribbean Tan. And unfortunately, my bronzer has crept to oblivion, but that's what it looks like. This is another brush by Confidential, and I want to go right on top of my cheeks with this. So you can see the shimmer right on my cheeks, right where I want that golden glow. And for lips, I'm going to go right on top of the Nuance Pomegranate and apply the uh, L'Oreal Hip in Pretentious. Alright, and this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Now, I'm not going to say that I don't like these products on the Nuance line, but I will say that some of the colors leave a lot to be desired. For example, this color here that we first applied on my lid, I found myself having to keep going back into the color and patting it on and packing it and packing it until the true color showed up. And um, I don't know if it's because I'm, I'm using a nude primer. Um, but on the when I used the white primer it was the same story. I keep I, ha I had to keep packing and packing it on just to get the true color and you remember when I first introduced the line when I was swatching it I had to keep on picking up the color and adding more until we got the true color and that goes the same for the teal color here but I didn't have any trouble with this color this one is, is it seems to me that it's pigmented in my opinion you let me know what you think if you try it on but in my opinion this was the best out of all eight of them so as far as the product goes if I had to rate it on a scale of five I would say somewhere between three and a half and four it's not bad I'm just not too impressed with the pigmentation but that's my opinion so you can go and try them out they're at CVS um, they're both under nine dollars each if you like it go purchase it and tell me what you think about it so that being said, please remember to be blessed, stay beautiful, that's the blueprint. Bye.